Mike Peden here with Nia Coffey. It just seems like last year I was talking to you as a first-time state champion. Well, now you've got two to your credit. Well, congratulations on usurping uh, me in my high school days. Thank you so much. It feels great. Uh, what was the difference this year? Hopkins had just one loss this year. Otherwise, they were dominating their opponents, it seems. So what was the big improvement for this year's Hopkins squad? Um, we, really, we really focused on playing together and playing fast. That was our goal. And what was the challenge? Because when you beat opponents like you do in this season, sometimes players could get complacent, they get a little lackadaisical, and we never saw that out of Hopkins. What was the secret? It was just each other. We kept each other up. We wanted to stay where the level are on a level that we were, so we didn't want to let down. So we just kept pushing us each other every day, and that's what that's what made it happen. So what do you look forward to next year? Uh, th being your final year as you prep for uh, what seems to be a college career at Northwestern? Well, I'm looking forward to playing with the girls again. I absolutely love them and playing under the coaching staff that we have because they're absolutely amazing. They go above and beyond for us every year. So Now, I understand that uh, Johnny from Noodles has still supported you throughout yes, this season. Do yes. you describe the community support because I've covered the Dick Sporting Goods Holiday Classic and I was here in the quarterfinals on Wednesday and Hopkins, at least in those two instances, had a lot of uh, fan support. The community supports us a lot, even if it's just a small pat on the back or just believing in us, that's a lot. That's, that's enough for us. And uh, <laughs> I, I do have one question to ask you. Do you think any uh, upcoming ice baths this year will be more no. enjoyable? <laughs> I will not be taking another one. <laughs> at least if I do, I will not be filming it. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what would you like to say to the, your seniors who will be graduating and uh, moving on in the next phase? I'm going to miss the three of you so much. I love you guys, and congratulations, and just do it big in college. And I don't know if you had a chance to peek, but was your dad more or less nervous this time than last year after going through this? You know what? I try not to look at him this game because I, I couldn't tell if he was nervous. I think he was kind of late back this game compared to other games, but uh, I don't think he was that nervous for this one. Well, he'll get uh, his nerves going next week when yeah. he goes on 45. That's when the real nerves happen. <laughs> <laughs> And anything, anyone you want to say hi to that might be watching? I would like to say hi to Johnny at Needles. Thank you so much for giving us our pregame meals. Well, congratulations. Go celebrate at Lindbergh Center. And who knows, we might see you next year for a shot at three in a row. Hopefully, hopefully. Thank you. Nia Coffey from Hopkins.